Welcome to Das Yak, episode two. Uh, today we're gonna install the gator patch. So, I was having a problem in the back as I take, when I take the kayak off my truck, it goes back end first until the wheels hit the ground. And when I put it on the truck, I lift it up and the wheels get lifted up and the back gets dragged. So it was really thrashing the back of my kayak. Okay, so it's scary. So I originally went, I bought some flex tape. I haven't installed the flex tape. I wanted to try it because it seemed like a good option, but I had a feeling once it started scraping again, the flex tape would just tear apart. But I haven't tried it. It might, it might be the bomb. But I read, again, I'm part of the uh, Blue Sky Boat Works forum on Facebook. Somebody mentioned uh gator patches uh these are keel guards now my main keel which you could see right there doesn't take a lot of damage because i don't drag my whole kayak across the ground i have the wheels the wheels actually protect my main keel even the front doesn't get jacked at all but the back as you can see is horrible so i ordered these three by six patches to put on the back end of the kayak to see if that prevents it from further getting damaged so i'm gonna install them right now i'll put a link in the description i got these on amazon and it only took them a day to send it okay this is what the uh keel guard looks like if you're familiar with that uh scotch 3m vhb tape it's the same thing uh you got the really rubberized plasticky side right here and this is the part where you peel off the tape these conform to the shape of your keel. You can also paint them if you want. Uh, you can paint it any color you want. And uh, yeah, I don't care about painting it. I just want to get it on. I want my kayak to be safe. Um, so according to the uh, manual here, or what it says is you cut it to size surface should be sanded cleaned and dry of any contaminants it's plastic i'm not worried about that uh, you cut the gator patch to the size you want no need to cut these you remove the white backing tape to expose the sticky resin apply the cat uh, the patch to appear the area with sticky side down apply patch and remove transparent film backing so once you put the patch on there's actually a transparent film here and then it says press firmly and expose to UV or sunlight. Curing times depend on UV intensity between five minutes and 60 minutes. Drill and sand or paint when cured. So this is actually gonna get hard after I put it on. I'm not gonna sand it, no, 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 uh, no need for that. Uh, so let's put it on. Okay, so I've installed it. I've taken off the clear plastic and there it is exactly how I wanted it. And it's, while it's a beautiful 60 degree day, it's not that sunny because it's winter, the sun's in the wrong spot, but there is enough UV rays coming in the back of the vehicle where this should take about an hour to cure. And then I'm gonna do the other side. And then that's it. We'll see how it lasts throughout next season. Uh, Gator Guard is a reputable company. They make keel guards and all types of boats, kayaks, aluminum boats, fiberglass boats. They know what they're doing. So it's there. It's sticking to the kayak. Um, <laughs> I'm pleased as punch right now with this uh, tiny little upgrade I've done because this was definitely a concern toward the end of the season. And it's no longer a concern. I'm pretty happy. So there you go. I'll put a link in the description so you can get some of these for your yak. And remember, you can cut them to size. It doesn't matter what, how big or long your kayak is. I got the three by six. They actually have longer, wider ones. Uh, but I think the three by six, depending on how long your keel is, three by six is pretty good. They have a, a nine inch one. I think it's six by nine. So you can get a longer one. You can get a long one and cut it. It's, it's up to you. I'll uh, see you on the next episode of Das Yak.